daily vlog here Sunday about 12 o'clock uh, put this up here the new the reservoir the used one he had a little crack right there a little hairline crack was dribbling so I covered it with a bed liner some cheap dollar store flex seal knockoff then my dad had to flex seal in a canyon to uh, brush on so I brushed a couple layers on that it's gonna take 24 hours to dry and uh, we're gonna show you the push bar so it's done been cut uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 35 inches, and the original one was 40, 42 inches. Here it is, guys. I just got misted it with some paint. I'm going to be doing some bed liner over it anyway. Uh, here's one of the pieces. <coughs> Might make a good tailpipe piece or something, but there's what it looks like. So it's coming from there to where it's at now. The welds I did was here. Yeah. Now here's the factory welds. I may eventually go back around and just weld over them factory welds and make them match that. But it looked good and I relocated the, the headlock. The light mounts. There it is guys. Uh, let's get back over to old Bessie. 98 Jeep. Not really much under the hood. Got me a new oil cap. Come off a of V8 uh, Grand Cherokee. V8. Come off of that. I uh, just sprayed it with bed liner. I know the hood underneath it doesn't look that great. But it's got low miles. I think it's got 185,000 on it. As to where my 97 over there. Old Blue has 374,000. So it's my motor still got a long ways to go need to get that hose changed eventually but i got it pulled back away from that but if that belt was to break it slap it need to get that belt changed that's an old dry rotted belt i had it put on there just to move them around back to this i just got it with one of the butterfly nuts or whatever you call it piece over here was broke so i had to zip tight it come that way uh Got my high lift jack mounts on the hood. Oh, yeah. Uh, over there, you might see a little red. I had to do some metal filler right there because I accidentally... See, I was following the, the fluid washer hose. This fluid washer hose is over here on the side, and that one over there is in the middle. And I didn't know it, and I'd bolted it off set, so I had to move that down. I'm going to get a black high lift jack, a tractor supply, a black one for this one. Uh, of course, you know I got my rear cargo mat in. If you ain't already seen that, go out to do something with this rinky dink thing back here. But uh, yeah, the roof looks pretty good. Overall, paint job is not too bad. It's kind of slick looking with that uh, a bed liner. Uh, looking pretty good, guys. I'm gonna do away with my original push bar. I was happy with it. But, you know, yeah. Uh, since I put the one over there on that one, it's kind of different. And got some uh, Wrangler taillight covers for my mom's uh, Jeep Rubicon because she backed into this thing. She was sitting right over now. I don't see how she backed up into this. And it was broad daylight, too. But, I don't know, guys. Oh, yeah, I got my new sticker up there. Took that white one off. I didn't like it. So that's going with the orange theme. Anyway, guys, that's is an update. Just a vlog, daily vlog. It's not really that good weather out sprinkling. But yeah, guys, there'll be more updates and more videos to come. Hopefully, some more Leatherface stuff as it gets here, you know. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, keep jeeping.